Hey everyone, now I'm coming to you with something that was talked really many times. Even I was talking about the eyes before. However, I'm evolving, everything is evolving. So sometimes if I can do something different, if I have some new ideas, I can always share this with you. And I want to show you in this tutorial a very simple way how to clean the veins of the eyes without spending pretty much time without using this confusing healing brush or clone stamp, which is of course good, and without losing really many details. So this will be the first thing that I'm going to show you. And as an additional thing, I'm just going to boost the color of the eyes. I'm not sure if I was talking about the debossing the color, I'm sure I was talking about the different colors, so you will see how I do this and it's actually very simple to do this. And very important thing, we boost in the color or change the, change the eye colors if our customer wants this. So this is important thing to notice. If it's for your own purpose, of course you can do this because you decide what to do for your images. I'm just going to create new layer let's call this veins. And on this eye, we have quite many of these, as you can see. So there's few different methods you can use it. Of course, I was doing one action before and I have this in the course to do this extremely quick. However, I'm not using that often action and I prefer to do this on my own by hand. And when you use the healing brush with the blend mode normal, sometimes it might work not so well if we go somewhere too far or something like that. So what I find really useful, I use Lighten. It just brightening the dark parts and leave really a lot of details. So as you can see, there is not many information and it's super simple method. And on the skin, I don't allow to do this for myself, but on the eye, sometimes I would allow myself to use soften brush, not in this case. So we just brighten in and it's not covering this fully because we don't want this. We want this to keep natural and that should be the main part of your retouching. You want to keep things natural. So we cover in the veins, but still this eye has a lot of kind of harshness, we could say. So it looks really natural and it doesn't look too wide and to fake. So that's how I do. With this, of course, you could go closer to the edge, not this. And however, when it goes that way, so it means we get too close to the edge, I'm just switching into clone stamp and with low flow. When we have keep the flow on the low level, we have a bit more control and we can get really close to the edge and do the thing carefully. So that's how I'm usually resolving the eyes at the moment. I want to keep them really natural. I don't want to make them too fake as well as I don't want to keep them too messy as it was before. So in another part, let's boost the natural color of the eyes that it has. It will be difficult without bringing up some of the brightness. So I'm going to create curves bring up the curve to brighten this up and invert this layer mask. So control or command I, we invert in this and I'm going to call this brightness. I'm choosing a brush, soft edged brush flow. Also, I prefer to keep this below 20%. And now on this layer mask, just going to paint as the lights go in, of course, carefully. So by the fact the flow is really low, we have a lot of control. We can see when we want to stop this. And now our eyes changing slowly. And when we get to the level that we really want, that's it. And now let's boost the natural color. Maybe you will be surprised, but it's super easy method. I'm just going to open hue saturation and pulling up saturation quite much, around 50 could be. In this case, 50 will be enough. And then once again, inverting 
this layer mask. I'm going to call call this color post. And now this time with 100% of the flow here and just going to paint on it carefully on the eyes. And as you can see, the color is really nicely busted. If it's too strong, I think it's a bit too strong, we can always lower the opacity. And that's how it looks after all. So as you can see, super simple. Let's put this to the group before and that's how it looks after so simple method giving you really beautiful and what's most important natural results